Yes, God is great, but he's also terrible. My name is Adam Barber, and I'm the man of God at large. Now hold up if you're a believer, put away your torches and your pitchfork. And if you already don't like Christians, don't throw up your hands and say, see, I told you. Just listen to what I have to say. Open your Bibles to the book of Psalms, number 66. Let's go. Verse 5, come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. Now for most of us, if we were asked to define the word terrible, we would give a definition like this one. Terrible, extremely or distressingly bad or serious. But the Bible defines it differently. Terrible, adapted to impress dread, terror, or solemn awe and reverence. Now God is love merciful, kind, and gracious, but he is also the judge of the universe, and he's not your grandpa, or some sort of Santa Claus that's sprinkling foo-foo dust on you every time you call to him. He is all-powerful, mighty, and terrible. Make sure to subscribe for more.